Since the Good Friday Agreement of 1998, there have been many notable changes in society. In the last 10 years, and especially the last year, the unthinkable and unbelievable has happened. But Belfast still remains a deeply divided city, with that division propped up by the likes of this. This, this, and this, this, and this, and that, over there. Interface walls. The question is, is it high time for walls like this to come down? With that in mind, I took to the streets to conduct a little piece of research to find out the views of those living on the interfaces. I would like to see them down, but I'd like to know there's a lot more peace. It's still not 100% peace in this city, Belfast. It says the ceasefire is okay, right? but there's no ceasefire between the young ones. You'd have them stoned from that side, and you'd have the ones down here stoned from the side over there. They both say they both side but seeing each other then. I do. I think the world should have to come down anyway because there's no supposed to be no war in there. It should be down. I would like to see them coming down, but I can't see them coming down now, you know what I mean? I think it'll take time, I think it'll take time before the world come down. As an outsider, do you think they're strange? Yes, definitely. Definitely, they are very strange. Especially if you consider that like the people live right next to each other like on the normal road, but there's a wall in between. I think it's uh, really strange, uh, but it's just they are afraid of each other and they don't know each other. It's really, uh, especially the young kids, don't even know what is behind that wall and I think that's not good. What do you think, well, if the walls were to come down, could the police not monitor the situation? Would you not have any faith in them? No, they can't monitor it now, let alone when it would come down. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the side of my house. For what would I, Where would I be? The only alternative I would say is the wire, the fence we got on top of the peace wall, take the wall away, but have that fence up where we can see each other. But make make a difference. We still have that between us. But at the moment, keep the wall there and the fence above it. Furthermore, a lot of it happens on a Friday night or Saturday night from the bar coming down the road. That's why it's beer bottles and that coming over. I don't think there's still the trust. The trust is not still not there. And I would say not on both sides, the trust is still not there. I have lived most of my time on, on the Springfield Road, nearly 50 years. And now, I used to be able to walk up and down that road without any fear at all. But when I come to that gate, I feel that funny feeling on my back as I'm going through, because my daughter one time got a bottle through at her her and my granddaughter as they were coming through and just missed them. Despite my intensive and detailed survey, I was forced to concede defeat in this one as it neither the time or the energy to be knocking on people's doors. And then I came across this, a timely article about an American organization who conducted their own, and I'm guessing more substantive research on this very issue, the possibility of the walls coming down. Okay, big moment. We're now about to talk to the President of the US, Ireland Alliance. 
Trina, this poll you've conducted, it's been deliberately timed to accompany a certain event coming up in April. Explain to us what that event is. We had actually talked to Senator Mitchell a good couple of years ago about doing some sort of an event that would mark the 10th anniversary of the Belfast Agreement and to tie that in with our George J. Mitchell Scholarship Program, thinking about the fact that, you know, what does all of this do for the average person in Belfast? Is there anything that we can do that could tie in and, and help them? And the thought was to just put this question out there and, and at a very minimum begin a debate that said, you know, what will it take and do people want, you know, for back, lack of a better word, peace walls to come down in Belfast? And, that, and, and we had always said this will be decided by the people there. We're not trying to push an agenda. If it happened that the results were so positive that people wanted something down in April, then you would have people like George Mitchell there and Bill Clinton and, and would look to do that. But if they decided not, then that's the end of that. When you begin to challenge the way people live, invariably you'll come in for criticism, such things as who the hell are you to tell us how to live? So, Trina, who the hell are you? <laughs> well, that's just it. I mean, we've been very clear to say we're not telling anybody how to live. What, I, what was interesting and what we just wanted to find out, I mean, I go back to having been involved with Senator Kennedy for 11 years in the peace process, so it's not like we came in in 2008 having no clue about Belfast. I was conscious of a few things, one being uh, this new desire to get economic investment into Belfast. And if you're sitting in the U.S., you just cannot deny the fact that if you're a business person and you're shown maps and places and options of where to do business, and, you, you know, you look at a place, you know, say between the Shank Hill and the Falls, and you tell somebody to put a business in there, they can't help but say, well, what's that line there? Oh, well, that's where we have to have a wall to keep people apart. So to suggest that that wouldn't, to some degree, cool off a business person who's interested, it's just not reality. So I was, we were thinking more in terms of, I know we would certainly like to see the peace process benefit everybody in Northern Ireland, and that certainly includes the people who are in the most disadvantaged locations. And I think the walls certainly play a, a role in the economic development for them. So the results then, let's get down to the nitty gritty. People want to know, should the walls fall? What do the results tell us? Well, the, bo the, well, the bottom line was that 81%, which I thought was a fairly significant statistic, of people actually said they do want the walls to come down. The question, though, is, when they feel it's safe enough for the walls to come down. Our results showed that you know, more than half did not feel right now was the time, and that's fine, we accept that. I think the good thing that it has started is a debate. Um, the other thing that I found interesting was whenever I would talk to some politicians just about this concept and this idea, I heard from a lot of people, oh, they'll never come down, it'll take 10 years, won't be in our lifetime, nobody wants them to come down. And then I would drive to a, you know, a street at an interface all over Belfast. And I think you can kind of get away with this being a yank, where you can go up to the lady who's working in her garden, who's right across from an interface, and say, do you want the walls to come down? And she'll say, absolutely. I had some people say, bring them down tomorrow. You know, there'll be trouble from young people for a period of time. Um, but, you know, it, it was clear that it was the desire of people. And because that, what I was hearing anecdotally did not match with what the politicians were telling me, I thought, the only way to have any kind of certainty is to have a professional poll done where somebody can't just say, oh, well, this was just her view. She went around and talked to five ladies. Um, so you know, we commissioned 1,000 people, equal amount, both sides of the community. So the facts are the facts. I know some people seem to not like what the facts are, but the facts show that it is something that the people want. And I think it puts the onus then back on the politicians to say, yes, we want this to happen. It may not be tomorrow, but let's figure out what it takes to make it happen for the communities. You touched on it there. 60% of the people that said they want the walls to come down said, but not right now. Uh, it's not safe enough. How are we ever going to know when the right time is? Well, that's what's hard to tell. You know, and, and I think, too, you have to look at this interface by interface. Um, I think the, the guy, I think you're, um, Neil Jarman and some of the people that have done work on the interfaces, I forget what the numbers are. There's a huge number of interfaces, and I'm sure you have passed them and not even realized you've gone right past an interface. You know, the answer may be that there are some places where there are absolutely no problem. You could probably take down an interface tomorrow, and nobody would notice it had been taken down. And if you started very slowly, maybe, with the ones where... And also, there are, there are walls in places now where the demographics of the neighborhood have changed such that you might have... Catholics on one side of the wall and on the other side of the wall. So there's absolutely no reason for that interface to be there. 